How do Volkswagen ID over the air updates work in the UK? Well, today we're going to find out because we've managed to get access to the update, which has taken, I think it's a few weeks longer than Germany or so. Now, just a few things before we get into this, there's a couple of prerequisites. First of all, um, for this update at least, I don't know if it'll be the same for all future updates, I got an email about three weeks ago now or so uh, that was basically needed permission to update the car. So I clicked a link in that, got the permission, then it was another two or three weeks or so after that that my car finally picked up the update. Um, I realised it picked up, I'll show you in a minute actually how I, how I realised it picked up the update, um, but uh, it, it looks quite straightforward, so I'm hoping it's going to be just as easy. I think the only other prerequisite really is that you need to have at least 50% charge in your battery for it to do it, um, but other than that I think it's, it's pretty much as you expect. So the update we're going to be doing today is from 2.1 to 2.3. The codes are slightly different in the computer, but that is the kind of human readable code, if you like. It is a two-part update, interestingly. The first part, I think, takes around about an hour or so, and the second part takes, I think, something like three or four hours. The second part's a lot longer. You're not able to do the updates while the car is driving, so I'm here in my driveway here to do the updates. So, um, right, we'll get into it then straight away. So the way that I know that it's ready to do an update is because when you start the ignition, there's lots and lots of errors that you get, which I'm hoping they don't do always. I'm hoping that's just a thing that's just for this first update. And in the future, when there's an update ready, you won't get loads and loads of errors. There, this says error number one, lane assist is currently unavailable. So lane assist just will not work while it's waiting to update. Front assist availability is limited. I'm not sure what that one is. I'm not noticing any difference. And dynamic road sign display. So the, the, it won't display any uh, uh, speed limits uh, and, the, um, and the lane assist just doesn't work. Obviously it's insane. I've done nothing so far. All I've done is click the link in the email. I've not done a single other thing to make this update happen. So it's insane that it would disable features before the updates even happen. I mean, your phone doesn't go, oh, no, you're not allowed to Google anything until you've done the update, does it? It's, it's insane. I hope they fix that in the future. But that's how I know with this update, at least, the update was ready to go. Moving on to the screen, the real way that you know the update is ready to go, because um, it will just download in the background over its own 4G, as you can see here, which you don't need to subscribe for, by the way. That's all included via Volkswagen. It's when you switch the ignition off, like so, you get an update available button there. Now this is the first time I'm going to press this one, so we're going to hope for the best here. Update available, here we go. So, need to switch off the side lights, they're only on because it's on auto, so I'm shooting, no, no, it won't let me, okay, I mean auto light, we have to switch off auto lights. There we go, now it'll finally do, that's a bit of a strange one because it was on auto. So, uh, for this update there's two parts to it, again we're not sure if this will apply to future updates, there's two parts to it. Now, the first one I might understand it takes about an hour and a half. The second one I believe takes more like three hours. So don't do these while you're on the move because uh, the car will be completely unusable when it's updating is, is my understanding. So we're just gonna go for the process here. Let's go on further information first, see if there's anything interesting in there. I'm hoping it fixes this, by the way. This, this, uh, there's always the notification. That either says internet radio is unavailable or it says data all used up unless you subscribe to their, to their data plan. So it's saying what's new here. So apparently there's update to, to the, the advanced main beam control, which I don't actually have in my car. I've got the, the, the Volkswagen Life model. Um, and then just stability, head up displays, none of which I've got, but I understand there's lots of other changes. One of which oddly I've seen on, on updated car is that you can now add a flag to, to your home button there, which is a bit of a bit of a random one. Oh no, I've just pressed off it. Is this, have I just ruined it? Have I just ruined everything? Uh, I think I've just ruined everything, guys. I think I think I can't get back to it. Okay, let, let's <laughs> ignition on, ignition off. There's also no way to force this update and force it downloading the update. So if you park, say, in an underground car park and don't have any 4G, there's no way to force it. Okay, let's come back to auto here, um, which is silly. I Hopefully I'll add that in future updates. Let's just go for install this time. Install installation will start once you leave and lock the vehicles. Okay, so I think with Volkswagens, I think it takes about 10 minutes or so to uh, kind of disable the vehicle so the computers won't actually switch off for around about 10 minutes after you've left the vehicle. So we'll probably need to leave it about 10 minutes. Let's come back then and see what happens. Okay, so I've just got back to the car. And uh, been about just over 10 minutes, and you can see there's a, there's a red light there, a red exclamation mark, which isn't normally there. So that presumably means the update is in progress. If I unlock it now, so it will let me unlock it, and that all works fine. The mirrors come out and everything. But it says, updating your Volkswagen. It may take a while. So if I get in now, presumably, I'm not allowed to start it yet. It's not normally when you sit on the seat, the screen activates. That's not happening. And then if I try and start, no, no, the ignition button does nothing. As expected, car is completely unusable when it's updating. So it may take a while, I think it's around about an hour, hour and a half this one, so leave about an hour and we'll come back then and see what the car does. Okay, so we're back at the car. And as you can see, no light now, so I'm hoping it's finished. It's just been just over an hour since I last got in the car. So let's unlock it. 
So far seems normal. This is of course, it's just part one. We've got part two coming up whenever it chooses to download. Hopefully that'll be quite soon. I don't know if there's any kind of delay between downloading. But it's a fairly normal boot up. It does take a little minute for the screen to, to be active, of course, but it seems a little bit of initializing going on there by the looks of it, because that was a bit slower than it normally is. There we go, update complete. An internet connection will be established briefly to complete the system update, okay. Probably should have pressed information, never mind. So that's still there, as expected. Hope that will disappear. So this isn't actually the final update. As I said, it's a two-parter for some reason. This one again, hopefully they can make them just a single part in the future. Um, if I go into here, I've got 0792 at the moment. 2092 there, I don't really know. Hopefully, I think in the update they also might change them to be 2.3 and etc. Because it's the 2.3 update is what we're trying to apply here from 2.1. Um, but they just have these 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 codes that uh, software codes which don't really mean anything to people to humans unless you know what they are. So be nice to see that. But uh, anyway, let's just hope now it just downloads. See, I've got some internet here. I've got 3G. That should be enough to download the update. So let's just now hope that it downloads part two and we'll resume the video then. So a full three weeks later, and the update is finally available. <laughs> I can't believe it's been three weeks between the two parts, but it is what it is. To be fair though, this update, uh, the sort of temporary part one update has been working fine. As you can see, there's, there's no errors. Once we start moving, they'll all disappear. So there's been no errors in the meantime. So the car's been perfectly functional within that time. Even when this update is downloaded, unlike last time when we started to have errors and stuff stopped working, that hasn't happened. It was only about a day or, a day or so ago uh, that, it, that it first appeared and there's been no errors since. So there's actually been no issues at all between the updates. The only issue, of course, is the, 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 the sheer distance between the updates, three, uh, three weeks, an awful long time, especially when it probably should have been one part to begin with. So let's get on then let's press update available uh, as always for some reason we have to go in and manually switch these off which seems a bit silly when it's on auto mode but there we go they're off and it's happy so uh safety functions are deactivated and the online mode is activated during the install uh installation approximately 170 minutes so just about three hours this update will take quite a long time really uh it's not like your phone or your ipad or something takes quite that long you cannot use your vehicle during this time system update may cause settings to reset i've just charged the car a little bit as well to make sure it's over 50%, which I believe you have to do. Uh, just gonna make sure there's nothing interesting in here. Let's have a little look though. New function of the ID light. Okay, here we go. The ID light translates alerts from your infotainment and assist systems into light signals from the windscreen. We'll save the update the phone. Steering wheel contact detection, adaptive cruise control, efficiency assist, ab absolute reserve mode. Design updates. I'm not gonna go through these too much because this video is supposed to be more on just generally the update process more than specifically what's in this 2.3 update because of course, hopefully in a year or two time, you'll be able to watch the same video and it would be more or less the same progress. Uh, but that's the things that are included within this update. So let's just get on with it then. Uh, okay, I need to turn the ignition on. I'm back off again to get back to the screen. Update available, switch off side light. Oh God, this is a bit silly. I'm sure they'll improve this. Oh God, there we go. Install. Installation will start once you lock and leave the vehicle. Okay, let's do that then. So just like last time, I'm sure we'll need to actually leave it for five minutes or so. So just as the usual thing for now, nothing much doing. And I think when we shut the door, it'll do the same. Yep, nothing much different at the moment. Let's give it a lock. There we go. And again, nothing much for now. There's normally there's a five minute delay uh, between when you lock the car and when the computer systems they would normally switch off, uh, but of course in this in this time it'd probably be five minutes before the update starts. So let's leave that five minutes now, let's come back uh, to see, presumably doing the same as before and just doing the update and then we'll leave it after three hours till it's finished. Okay, just come back to the car about 10 minutes later or so, you can see once again that light's on there. So we'll let us unlock it, it will work as a kind of a, a sitting a sitting device, but not as a car. As you can see, updating your Volkswagen, it's only going to take a while, according to that, it's about a third of the way through. So if that continues, it may take a lot less than three hours, but I suspect it probably will take a little while. I will check in in a little while just to make sure, but I think it probably is going to take three. But other than that, I can't... No, ignition button does nothing. The brake pedal does nothing. Doesn't You can't start the car as such. You can't move the car. You just have to wait now for that to be complete. So we'll leave it now for another hour or so. We'll come check in then just to make sure it hasn't done much earlier than expected, but probably more like three hours or so. And then we'll see what the, what the final update process is. Okay, here we go. It is now dark but uh, it has been about four hours and you see there's no lights, which is a good thing. We don't lock the car here, which maybe make the scene a bit more obvious. There we go. And uh, hopefully the update's been successful. There's no angry lights, there's nothing bad happening yet. Welcome to Volkswagen on the main screen here. 
hopefully we're all good. And the update process is just done with no, no further ado. So this is slightly changed, the theme of this, but again, I'm not gonna get into too much detail of specifically what's changed in update 2.3. I'm sure you'll have seen a lot of that online yourself if you, if you care to do the research or even other YouTube videos. But uh, that's new as well, that symbol. Again, it's hard for me not to, because I'm noticing loads of things already that's different, but system update, here we go. An internet connection will be established briefly to complete. It said this for a while last time. It just kept saying it over and over again, uh, which was a bit annoying. But uh, other than that, it seems to be done. I think we can probably, yeah, start the car and drive off. So there is, once it's updating, once it's done, it's done. There's nothing more to do. But uh, there, there we go. That is the over the air update process. I don't know if you can be able to see me. No, you're not. Should we try this light? Hi, that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the over the, air, over the air update process in the Volkswagen ID3. Quite simple, but not necessarily intuitive, uh, and certainly far too long. It shouldn't take, what, I mean, four hours total updating. It shouldn't be in two separate parts. You shouldn't get errors before the update. I mean, this is the very first over the air update they've done. Uh, so hopefully it'll improve in the future. But for now, definitely some work to be done. Uh, but hey, it was successful in the end, so can't complain too much. Don't need to take you to a dealer, so that's certainly uh, a nice plus. And uh, anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.